Hello, I finished General Chemistry 1 course from Portage Learning a few days ago. It's a course with a lab, 4 credits. And I finished it in 23 days. It was just about every day I, I studied chemistry. <laughs> and I had exams just about like every other day or maybe like just one next week and one another. So it was a lot of chemistry in 23 days. But you can't finish it um, within 23 days. Actually, the shortest amount of time allowed for you to finish a course is 21 days. But because this course has a lab involved in it, um, I think it's going to be a little tight to do it in 21 days. So the course is divided into module parts and lab parts. The module parts is what you would experience in a traditional um, classroom environment because, um, well, it's got like a video of your professor like with your lecture. And I also enjoyed that they had a text portion. The course, the modules are like they have the videos and then they have the accompanying text with it. And I like to take really detailed notes, so like that was really helpful because when you were taking notes with your professor just talking in front of you, sometimes you miss something and you can't spell something, but there's none of that with Portage Learning because everything is already written. And these modules, um, there were six modules in General Chemistry 1 course, and for every module you have a problem set that's like a practice exam. And then you have the actual exam. The practice tests are worth 5 points and the actual exam is worth 100 points. Um, and you want to be, um, you want to put your best foot forward for your practice exams because the practice exams are like a really nice way to prepare yourself for the actual exams. I found that like just about um, all the questions that was asked in problem sets were just asked in another way in the exam. So, um, if you do well in the problem set, you're going to do well in the exam. And I also found that the, some problem sets were a little harder than the actual exam where they had more questions than the actual exam, so they prepare you very nicely for those. Like, they want you to do well in your exams. And for the lab portion, there were eight labs. And I had to submit eight lab reports for each of those labs. And you want to be detailed for those two, just like you have to best put your best foot forward for your practice exams. Because you're allowed to bring in the lab reports that you submitted for each lab into your um, lab exam. And the lab exam will ask you um, something um, detailed like about your exam, about your lab. Like how much material was used or something like that. And they'll also like ask you like calculation problems that was um, involved in your lab. Maybe not the exact same calculation, but it's, like something that utilize the calculation. So you might want to like write down the the actual like formula and the process of calculation in your um, lab report, so you can look at that and refer it when you actually take your lab exam. There's a lot of calculation involved with this course. Um, they they will link like a Desmos calculator, and when you take your exam, so you can take, you can use those calculator online when you take the exam. So you don't need to buy like a physical calculator, although you can if it's more comfortable for you to use. Mm, let's see what else. Oh, and you don't need to buy a textbook for this course because as I said before, um, they have an accompanying text with each video for the modules. So you can look at those. So that's kind of your textbook. So it's nice that you don't have to buy any other textbook. I had to buy an organic chemistry textbook for my upcoming organic chemistry course in a few months. Um, that cost me like 50 bucks. It's not too bad, but at least like I didn't, I didn't have to buy anything for Portage Learning. Um, I will be taking organic chemistry with, uh, what is it, Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. So if anybody else has like something to say about that course, please let me know because um, I couldn't find much information online about that course. Um, let's see. Another thing is that you need to use Lockdown Browser for Portage Learning, so you are, um, you're monitored while you are taking the exam, like you'll be videotaped, um, and you also have to videotape your surroundings, like 360 degrees, just to make sure there's nobody else in the room. Um, I clean up my room nicely every time before I took the exam, and, um, you can't have any books around you, uh, 
Oh, and you are allowed to have a blank piece of paper for your module exams, and um, you need to you need to remember to show the both sides of your paper when you do your room scan. Um, for one of my exams, I forgot to show both sides of my paper, and I got a warning, so I was a little sad. So just remember to show both sides of your paper, and if you have your lab reports for your lab exam, also remember to show both sides, it's just all the papers, um, show both sides of your lab report papers. For the lab reports, I wrote about uh, four to six pages, sometimes maybe eight pages, when there's a lot of like graphs and like um, pictures involved. Yeah, make sure you don't just screenshot your labs, um, except for the IR spectrum, you'll know what that is when you take the course. Yeah, you can use any screenshots from the labs except for the IR spectrum. Hmm. Oh, and my professor was responsive. Um, when I had a question, I could just email her on Canvas and she would respond to me within a day or so. And for the grades, the grades would be done within the day or within the next two days. They don't work on the weekend, so just keep that in mind. All right, now I gotta go study biology with Portage. I signed up for it a few days ago um, because I have a lot of prerequisites to fulfill. I hope I do well on that course too. I got an A plus for my chemistry course. I worked hard every day with chemistry for 23 days. Um, if somebody's in a time crunch, Portage is a pretty good way to go because you can, the, the minimum limit is 21 days. So you just gotta like pass the 21 days to finish the course. But just know that you'll have exams just about every day if you do that. And um, you'll have to work hard. Alright, thank you for listening. I hope it was helpful for somebody.